nga pala guys, may pag tayo, courtesy of RSPH. We'll choose 5 winners of our t-shirts plus lanyards. Just make sure to follow the mechanics listed on the video description. So, good luck! This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or Gcash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. Hey, what's up guys, Action here. Recently, with the launch of the NAND-K Intel CPUs, of course, there's also the cheaper B-series chipset motherboards that will come out. So in this video, we'll be featuring the new B760 motherboard from Aorus, which is the B760 Aorus Elite AX DDR4, as well as the new Aorus Master RTX 4070 Ti. As usual, we'll talk about the parts, counting benchmarks para may idea kayo sa performance ng new CPU and GPU combo natin dito. As well as a quick build montage for you to enjoy. So let's talk about the CPU or processor muna. Here, we will use the new Intel Core i7-13700K, which is a 16-core processor from the 13th generation and also known as Raptor Lake architecture ni Intel. Meron itong 8 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. And may max turbo boost frequency of 5.4 GHz. So it's a good choice kung ang target mo is both gaming and productivity use. For the motherboard, we have the new B760 Aorus Elite AX DDR4. As you can see on the model name, this is a DDR4 compatible board pa rin. And yes, 13th gen still has support for dual channel DDR4 memory with 4 DIMM slots and up to 5333 MHz speeds and beyond through XMP overclocking. It uses the new LJ1700 socket so technically compatible ito with 12th and 13th gen Intel CPUs. At dial si B760 ay yung parang mid-range chipset ni Intel, it was stripped down of some high-end features gay ng PCIe 5.0 support since PCIe 4.0 lang ang maximum support ng motherboard na ito. Pero bawing-bawi naman ito sa ibang features lalo na kung di naman extreme use ang application. There are twin 12 plus 1 plus 1 faces digital VRM solution with 60 amps DR MOS. Cooled by advanced thermal design like extended and fully covered MOSFET heatsinks to ensure VRM power stability. Meron ding 2.5 gigabit LAN at Intel Wi-Fi 6E. Rear and front USB-C. 10 gigabits per second, meron dun easy latch quick release for M.2 drives, which is becoming common and that's okay. As well as thermal guard heat sinks for all of the M.2 slots and Q Flash Plus for easy updating the BIOS without installing the CPU, memory, and graphics card. May integrated I.O. shield then. Sa design, I really like the matte black finish na may halong gray elements. Madali siyang bagayan with anything else on the build since color neutral ito. Di mo nga akala yung mid-range motherboard ito with all the coverings it has, which is mostly reserved noon for the highest-end motherboards. Actually, kung di mo naman kailangan yung mga features which are mostly reserved on the Z-series motherboards, you'll be good with getting the much cheaper B-series motherboards. So this B760 Aorus Elite AX DDR4 is definitely an option to consider. Next is our graphics card, which is the recently launched Aorus Master GeForce RTX 4070 Ti with 12GB of GDDR6X VRAM and triple fan WinForce cooling system design. This card features the latest NVIDIA Adel Lovelace architecture with enhanced ray tracing capabilities. Meron itong metal backplate, LCD edge view, which you can program to show various images, animations, or information. Dual BIOS, anti-sag bracket, built-in, and syempre, RGB fusion support with very cool ring light effects sa fans. In terms of looks, Babagay naman ito sa motherboard natin and build dial similar sila ng color scheme which is monochrome. So sa memory, we have the Aorus 16GB DDR4 4400MB transfer per second kit. On the cooler, we have the Aorus Water Force X360 AIO liquid cooler which is this 360mm AIO with a 60x60mm circular full color LCD. So pwede ka rin mag-display ng kung ano-ano doon. On the storage, we have the Aorus 1TB Gen 4 7000S NVMe SSD, which is rated for sequential read and write speeds of 7000 megabytes per second and 5550 megabytes per second, respectively. May included din aluminum heatsinks din ito, 
which is always a plus. Powering the system would be the Gigabyte UD1000GM, power supply with 1000 watt power, 80 plus gold efficiency, and fully modular design with PCIe Gen 5 cable support. And housing this all would be this case, the new Aorus C500 glass, which has this 3 4 tempered glass front and vented part on the other 1 4 which they say helps with the airflow. Meron itong RGB glowing Aorus logo sa gilid, 4 pre-installed ARGB fans, modular design, meron ding vertical GPU support, at up to E80X motherboard ang pwede i-mount. And for the quick build montage, here's a quick recap of all the parts na makita nyo sa build na ito. May gaming benchmarks din tayo after the build montage, so stay tuned. I can't take it anymore. My mind's about to go to war. I need someone to save me from myself. To hear me cry when I call out for help I blame it on the voices that are in my head Wondering if they'll ever be put to bed Feels like I am close to reaching my wit's end Holding out but I'm about to blow it up like a volcano Parker, where are you? We must run through the demonstration at least once before the Grand Committee arrives. 